Today on Toy Shiz, we are checking out the brand new DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys, Green Lantern, John Stewart. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, John Stewart, Green Lantern. This is the Green Lantern that I think of, even though I think of Hal Jordan a lot. Because of Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Jon Stewart is my go-to Green Lantern. He and Guy Gardner, that was also a thing. Make him, that'd be really cool. The box is great, lots of green, here's the cross cells, here's the barcode. They are starting to hit Target stores now and should be up for pre-order hopefully very soon or you just find it in the stores now. They are out very early. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Green Lantern Jon Stewart from their DC Multiverse line. And here's old Johnny out of the packaging and he, th this is a good one. This is a good one. This is one of those where you're gonna go, mm, okay, I think uh, McFarlane Toys really hit that sweet spot with this one. Sometimes they go, whoa, way out left field and other times they do this one because this is fantastic. You really don't need another Jon Stewart after you get this guy. I mean, unless you want other add-ons and such. But let's look at the weapons. He comes with all the constructs. And because he's a military man, he comes with weapons. Not like ring constructs and the simplest beams of light and things like that. He's going to make himself a Gatling gun, which is very cool. It's different from the animated series release which that one really didn't do much for me considering the cartoon and everything about it he also has this this is really cool it's like when they draw it in the in the comics it's a rubbery material it's a very armorized green lantern piece and you'll see soon enough it sits above him that it does look like that and you see all the details the green lantern symbol on his shoulders but very gummy material but it works with moving him around and he has like a backpack construct feature as well just plugs into the hole in his bag nice details not much to it but it does add to the effect of he's wearing some more military type weapons and such so let's look at john stewart and of course in true dc multiverse fashion it comes with the stand it also comes with the card as well but look at that head sculpt right there that is a muy bien very good dang that's john stewart's as I would definitely see him. The eyes are great. The mouth is painted great. He has very nice features to him. It looks like Jon Stewart. So well done in that sense. The rest of the body, now they have souped up the Green Lantern. I think that they kind of went this direction in the comics a little bit. I call it, they kind of mez code him a little bit. You know what I mean? With like accenting details. I am fine with all black and green. The one thing though, he does come with a ring fingered hand but he doesn't have the clenched fist hand, which is the bummer. That's the big bummer, I think, of this figure, if anything. But the head articulates nicely, and you can get him to look up, and he can do the In Brightest Day oath and call forth all the power of the Green Lantern Corps, and it's just great, except if he had the fisted hand, that would just have been awesome. It's It feels like it's missing. Needed that oomph to it. He's got butterfly joints. So easy at first once I kind of wiggle them around he didn't become loose in any means it just kind of like yeah he's been sitting in that position for a bit double jointed elbows which work nice the ball joint of the wrist is hidden a little bit better than most like on some of these DC multiverse figures it's not my favorite but it's there he has some nice abdomen waist crunch to him he'll go side to side more than anything he's got this extra rubbery piece which I like and dislike in terms of moving him around. So if you move it around in that sense, it'll move with you and it looks weird, but then you can hold it still and just move the top portion as well. So I'm in between, it's okay for what it is. He can do the splits, he can kick out, he can you know do all the leg stuff. He does not have thigh cuts, so some of you probably just turned this video off. He has double jointed knees, toe, <laughs> ankle, ball joint, it's okay. Again, much like the wrists, the ankle is hidden a little bit better than most McFarlane toys. So if you're going to get him in all those Green Lantern poses, I think this works. I think that this is going to be an awesome figure for your Green Lantern collection. If you want to put on the armor, that's part of the fun of this. You can leave it off or you can put it on. Just simply pop the head off. It came off rather easily. Easier than most McFarlane toys of the past. Just FYI, he's got the hole, got the peg, put the backpack in. You can put the backpack either which way. I think both look good. I kind of like having it up as opposed to down. 
just because if you're looking at him, you know, straight on, it kind of looks like he has more of a, a thing going on. I don't know. It's personal choice. Whatever you want to do. He's got the big Gatling gun. Best part. Holds it great. Look at this John Stewart. He does not come with the flight stand. So if you have one from a previous figure or you got another company's, fine. So be it. Put him on it and make him do this pose. You don't need something better. That is John Stewart, right? He's in a giant space battle. He's taken out... Dark side, whatever you want to do. It's fantastic. The head portrait, the articulation, the armor, the fact that it's something different for a Green Lantern. Usually we just get the lantern, you know what I mean? And especially for those of you that are interested in photography and do all the crazy action figure poses and whatnot, I think this will definitely work for you as well. The head portrait alone is gorgeous. He's got the green eyes. That is Jon Stewart, man. That is so killer. Pose him however he wants, but putting him in this sense with the big Gatling gun, boom, that's amazing. Now, in terms of how he scales, you can see that you can put him in a flight pose. So it doesn't really matter, right? Well, I'm happy to say that for my tastes in how I perceive scale and such, he works well with the Superman 1000 and the Batman 1000. He is shorter than Superman, and he is shorter than Batman. That one, give or take, at least he's shorter than Superman. We'll say that. In terms of Flash, Flash is still gargantuan. He's the odd man out on this. That Flash is way too tall. The three, though, do definitely fit. So if you are trying to build more of a classic type Justice League, we all know McFarlane Toys has been doing Death Metal and Dark Knights and Last Night and all kinds of nights and stuff like that. But in some circumstances, we have seen more of the classic looks, so to speak, for Justice League. And one thing I will point out, if Jon Stewart could have possibly come with an extra head portrait, a more snarling type head, if he put that on there, he's gatling gunning everybody down, that would have been oh so cool, I will tell you that. Now, does he top the Jon Stewart figure that I really did like for a while? And I'm happy to say, yes, I love you to death, NECA. But McFarlane Toys takes the trophy home on this one. Night and day right there, I will tell you. So, now I got a brand new shiny Jon Stewart figure. The old Hal Jordan head will be going back on top. I think of the white gloves anyways for Hal Jordan. And they look great together. If you have the NECA DC figures, boom, it's a knockout. Well done. This is not the first time we've seen Jon Stewart in the DC Multiverse line. Last year, yeah, we got the animated one, which did not do a thing for me, except for the head sculpt. It's just... It was all kinds of off in certain circumstances. Then you have the Darkest Night uh, Green Lantern as well. In terms of posing him, again, just to kind of reiterate, you get him in those classic flying poses. The main thing, he extra head portraits and stuff aside, you know, those are minor. Oh, I wish I could have had that. The hand, the clenched fist is really what's missing. That's what you need for a Green Lantern figure. And I think that that would have just been icing on the cake knockout home run this figure is fantastic but that's the one thing i think that is definitely missing is the clenched hand to do the oath the main thing that all the green lanterns do so yeah uh, something to think about for next time so that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc multiverse john stewart green lantern what do you think do you need to get him is he a pass comment below let me know let's talk everything dc multiverse and be on the lookout for Bizarro and the weird zombie Nightwing and the, the Lunar New Year Halbat and all that kind of stuff's coming out. Uh, if, uh, when I find them, I'll totally put them up. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, God, I'm still waiting on that Spawn figure, though. Ah! And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.